Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This video is gonna be my project pen update. I'm gonna be telling you how it's going and I'm gonna be showing you my progress. So let's get right into it. So if you haven't been on my channel before, my name is Marley and I love making YouTube videos about makeup and beauty. I love trying out new makeup, but I also love using the things I already own. And a way I try doing that a little bit more is with my project pen. So if that sounds good to you, then don't forget to subscribe. I usually upload about two to three videos a week. Often it is also more. And I would love to see you again on my channel. As always, my progress has been going quite slow but steady. And I'm gonna be showing you what has happened what has changed in the last month so uh, let's start with the cheek products so the blush that i have in my project is the max factor baked blush in seductive pink i've put this in quite recently and the last time i updated you there wasn't a lot of progress that i could show but now i definitely see a bit of progress here i don't know if i can really show it on camera but especially at the sides i see that the blush is wearing off that it is that it definitely has been used so i've been going pretty steady on this one i've been using it quite a bit using it quite a lot i've been going into this it's a big product so sometimes it takes a little bit of time to really see some progress but i'm really seeing some right now i hope i can kind of show you but definitely this is going quite well and i hope in the next few months i'll be able to show you a little bit more same goes for this max vector bronzer in light gold this i put in at the same time as i put that blush in this is the same type of formula so it takes a little bit longer to really see that you've used it but also here i can see at the sides if it will focus on the bronzer i can see at the sides that it has been used and when i put it like this when i show it to you like this then you can definitely see that the dome shape has worn off a little bit and it has become a little bit more flat i hope you can see it so it was really like a dome and now it looks a little bit more flat let me see if i can kind of show you that with the blush as well so you can definitely see that it is not as rounded and dome shaped as it was before so I guess that's kind of a good way to show the progress on these products and I have been using them quite a bit. So the next thing is the Natasha Denona Mini Glam. I've been panning this shade over here using it as a transition shade. I've been going into this quite a lot and I have quite a dent in it and I have had a dent in it for quite a few months and I've been really going in and trying to pan this and I feel like I could hit pan on this every moment now every time i use this i feel like i could hit pan on it but it just hasn't happened yet i feel like i'm so so close it might be just a few uses left it might be that it's still gonna take a few months but at least there's a big dent in it it's going well i've been using it quite a bit so i'm really hoping that i can hit pan on this soon but it's been looking kind of like this for a few months now by the way i said i would do the cheek products first but i forgot about the highlighter so for the highlighter i put in this has been in for a few months now this is the nabla skin glazing and privilege and i've been using this a lot i've been using this a bunch i can definitely see that it has worn off a lot i've used it a lot there's a big dent in this and you can hardly still see the embossing in the middle at least the sides are still pretty untouched, but in the middle you can see that i've used this one a lot i'm still using this a lot of the time i'm reaching into this a lot of the time i'm wearing it today i'm also wearing the bronzer today i didn't use a blush today but i'm just having a lot of fun using this highlighter and it's going well and i can definitely see myself hitting pen on this one and then we have the lip pencil since i put this in this has been going very well the progress this month has been a little bit slower but it is a very very tiny it's very small i use this basically every time i do my lips if i put on a lipstick i almost always put this one first and it's just a very easy color for me to wear very easy color for me to combine with different lip shades so this is going quite well there's been months that it went a little bit better a little bit faster but it has gone down quite a bit this month and i still enjoy using this 
probably I will use it up in a few months and then I will probably also repurchase this one because I'm just really into this lip pencil. Then next up I have the Catrice Power Plumping Gel Lipstick in 170. It's also what I'm wearing right now. This progress, it looks like it went a bit slow this month. I have used it quite a few times. I have used it a bit, but... I feel like you can't really tell when I look at the markings I can't really tell that something has worn off maybe it has worn off more at this side the lower side than the highest side here because I measure it on this side so it might have something to do with that because I can see that the lettering has worn off a little bit more but I've used this like three or four times I don't reach for this one all the time but I definitely use it a few times a month and then the last month that I did that it did go down and I can see that I've used it. I don't know if I'm gonna use this up completely in this project but I think I can definitely make some more progress on this one in the coming few months. Next up I have this Clean ID Prime and Fix Spray by Catrice. This has come down a bit more this month. Right now I'm like at one third. I think there's I think there's about one third left. It used to be about half. I used it a little bit more to set my makeup when I was wearing a mask. Apparently I have been wearing a mask a little bit more this month. And I might have to wear a mask a little bit more from now on. It kind of depends on like the rules and what the government is gonna say when we have to wear a mask so i might have to reach for this one a little bit more so i'm gonna be keeping it in i did use it a few times i think i could possibly use this one up in a few months one thing that i find a little bit annoying with this one and makes it a little bit hard to use and what doesn't make the experience of using this a very very nice is that this spray is just a little bit weird i don't know what happened to it but when i spray this on my face i get really big droplets on my face and it's not a very nice spray anymore i don't know it used to be better i feel so it's not a perfect spray but at least it doesn't have ingredients in it that irritate my skin so i'm accepting it for now but i wish i could find something a little bit better with a spray that i like more then i have the laneige lip sleeping mask this one i've been telling you for months that I'm always that I'm almost done with it but I am almost done with it but it just looks like less uses than it actually is I've been using it quite a bit this month I've really been going in I'm so close to being done but I just couldn't really do it yet I feel I just keep feeling like I'm so close but I just need a little bit I use it once a day maybe sometimes I don't use it every day but I am planning to use this up quite soon. We are moving into the winter, the colder months. My lips are going to be more dry probably. So I'm thinking I can use this up in a month. But I've been saying that for quite some time. I've been telling you that. So can't really say. There's just something about this formula. You just need a little bit. And it's quite a big tube. I've been using this one for quite some winters I feel like. I've had this for a few years. But I'm really really close the last thing that i have to update you on is the perfume the daisy love by mark jacobs this one i'm about at one third i feel i've used it a bit more i've been more mindful of the spray that is a bit broken and i've been trying to spray a little bit more spray in a bit of a different way and make sure that it actually sprays perfume on me so i've been making some progress but it's not the easiest thing for me to use right now because the spray is just a little bit annoying it's a bit broken sometimes when i press it hardly anything comes out and it's just a bit hard to wear because of that if the spray wasn't broken I think I would have been much further with this already because I have used it quite a bit sometimes I do forget to use this sometimes I do forget to use perfume I'm home a lot and sometimes I'm just like whatever I will just skip it today or I just don't even think about it so this is actually going better it's going quite well I'm I've been doing quite well. I've been more mindful of how to use it. So I'm happy about that, but I will be glad when I use this up because it's just a little bit hard to use. So I always forget something when I do my project pen. There's always something I forget because I always throw these products in the bags, in makeup bags, just in my handbag. I always think that I have everything and then I'm done with filming and I'm like, oh no, that was still in my bag. So 
I was already done with filming, but I forgot to update you on this lip gloss. The Nabla Shine Theory lip gloss, this kind of peachy red shade. I think I used it once or twice, but it still went down quite a lot, I think. I can't really show you here, but I will show you in a photo after it has gone down a little bit. I can show you a little bit better, but right now it looks like it would be about here somewhere. This is just a lip gloss formula that goes down very quickly, very easily. I don't know what it is about it. I think when you apply this to your lips, you just put quite a lot of the product on your lips. There's just something about the way they made this. So that's also something to note. If you're planning to buy a lip gloss by Nabla, you can use them up pretty quickly. There are some lip glosses, you can use them forever and ever and ever. But I think if you would use this every day for like a month or two months, you would be done with this. So that is something that I'm definitely experiencing experiencing now. It's good for my project pen because it's going down even if I'm not using it the whole time. But it is something that I'm noticing. So all now I'm pretty happy with this progress actually. I'm pretty happy with how it's going. I have a visible progress on all of these products but it's nothing crazy yet and it might take a bit of time before I actually hit pen on something again. So that's gonna be everything for my project pen update. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. And then I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.